Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying three items from Aldi. That's what all these have in common. These are the Chakur Milk Chocolate Peanuts Candy Shell, it says. Um, I have the Benton's Apple Cider Donut uh, Cream Cookies, and those are new, aren't they? Yes. And then these are the specially selected pumpkin cheesecake drizzled caramel corn. And I don't think we've had this before. I don't think that the caramel corn we reviewed it, but if we have, we're just gonna try it again because I just don't remember it. Uh, the popcorn was $2.99. The uh, cookies were $2.29 and the peanuts were $2.99. So we're gonna try these first. I don't know if these are supposed to be like M&Ms or not. I yeah, just they look don't like know. Them. They look like they would be, but I don't know. Uh, it says there's 10 servings in the container, 12 pieces, 30 grams or 150 calories. And it does open. This is not a resellable bag. It's pretty easy to buy. Yes. Um, okay. The colors are kind of muddy and fat. They're uh, kind of dull. They're, yeah, and boy, they different sizes. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> yes. Not uniform at you, all. If you cared about the calories, then you're just going to have to weigh them because literally the sizes, I mean, this one is a teeny, teeny yeah, one. That's one. like the size of a sixlet. And then you have huge, oh, I'm going to get this double one. Yeah. I, I don't mind the colors. They kind of look like, um, they look like those little rocks that you buy, the, the little chocolate rocks. Mm -hmm. They're very, very different from M&M's. Yeah, they're kind of like an M&M, but the M&M's are oh, that 10 times better. Yeah, I think they <laughs> they were probably going for that. I mean, clearly they were going, they were, they were trying to compete with M&M. Mm -hmm. If I was blind, if I was doing a blind taste test, there's absolutely no question. These are not even close to no. M&M's. Um, everything about them is different. <laughs> yeah. Um, the only thing in common is they have peanuts in them. Yes, a peanut <laughs> and they're coated in chocolate. They have a candy shell yeah. and that they're all different colors. That's what they have in common. Um, the, the chocolate's nowhere near as good. Chocolate's not as sweet. It doesn't have that uh, sweet chocolate flavor. M&M has a very distinct um, chocolate flavor and also I love peanut M&Ms and you do get that peanut flavor but not like this peanut this is a raw peanut flavor mm -hmm. and honestly that's that's the flavor that's what i would say that tastes like even with all that chocolate you don't really taste chocolate all you taste after you're eating one of those is a raw peanut flavor if you look at the peanuts themselves they mm -hmm. look different yeah that's like a peanut m m has got that really smooth like a like a a, a jar of peanuts has mm -hmm. that kind of smooth oily kind of texture right. or look that these are like rough and bumpy and like they're roasted but they're not like right and yet, I don't know. these taste uh, okay. you get a more natural peanut flavor with yeah. these for sure how much were they $2.99 I think I'd rather buy a bag of peanut uh, of m &Ms. I would <laughs> too I, I would too I would rather I would much rather have peanut m and um you, you, if you're buying these, you just need to know they're not, they don't taste like M&M's mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you can't compare them to M&M's at all. There's yeah, just complete, nothing. Complete. But they don't taste bad. No. They're just different. You just can't plan on having an M&M flavor in a chocolate candy. Yeah. Now, if you're not comparing them to M&M's, you're just eating them on their own. They're okay. They're just not very sweet. No, you get, like I said, raw peanut flavor, and you're right, very, very little sweetness to yeah, them at and, all. And very little chocolate flavor, also. Yeah. it's almost all peanut. Yes. Okay, so, Benton's Apple Cider Donut Cream Cookies. Two cookies are 140 calories. It says great for dipping if you're a dipper. Um, if you, you like to dip. Cold? If you dip, I dip, we dip. Oh, I didn't know you could dunk them in milk. Yes, I heard you. In uh, coffee or something. No, okay. I heard you. I was ignoring you. <laughs> um, I wonder what you could dip them in, though. Would you dip them in like a... Uh, oh! I smell them. They're strong. Like, they smell like apple cider. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, I can smell them from here. Wow, I want one all of my own. Yeah, yes, yes please. Own. Yes, I want my own cookie. Oop, the the yes. filling is a little dry compared to it. It just crumbles. Yeah, very dry. Now that 
I'll just drop that hunk in here. You're right, it is dry because it fell off my cookie. It's better when you eat the whole thing. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, it falls apart if you take it apart. I mean, if you have that thick stuff comes apart. The cream by itself is okay, but um, it really tastes better once you put the cookie in it. There you go. There's mm -hmm. the other drug. I don't know what the cookie tastes like. You want just a piece of the cookie? Gotcha. You know what though? I think the cookie's actually pretty decent. It is, but it needs the cream. Yeah. To sweeten it. It's like an Oreo. I don't like Oreos like one part or the other. That's exactly what I was gonna yeah, say. Yeah, I like to eat them all together. Yeah. This is the same one. Oreos have come out and we've we've tried just the cookie or just the cream. It's not the same. Even eating just that cream, and I'm not talking about a traditional Oreo, because I like that white cream too by itself. But these flavors the flavor. that they come out with, if you're not eating it all together, then you're not getting the experience that they want you to get, and it doesn't taste near as good mm -hmm. as eating the whole cookie. If you eat that whole cookie, that is delicious. Yep. I really like that. That yep. is worth stopping in at Aldi mm -hmm. and buying. Yeah, it has a nice apple products. flavor. It mm -hmm. has a little bit of that donut-y kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. yeah, mostly apple, though. Apple and they're cider. cheap. Two twenty nine for that. Yeah, that's pretty cheap. So that's, that's very cheap for a package of cookies. Um, Just know Aldi's one of those places, at least around here. When, once they get them in and they sell them, that's pretty much it for the, for the yes. year. Yes. So you need, yeah, I would go soon. And now our Aldi had... A quite a few, yeah. yeah, but and they were on an end cap, so that has some other fall stuff there, too. Yeah, usually they have a section on the end cap of, of fall, but well, that's where this was, too. Yes, right? exactly. So, uh, but yes, I absolutely think it's worth getting these. They have a really nice apple cider, mm -hmm. but it's not overpowering, mm -hmm. it's a sweet cookie, it's yeah, different, very it's sweet. very different from other cookies that are out. Yeah, yeah, it has a little spice to it. Okay. Or have... cinnamon spice, I should say, not just spice. Okay. Now this is the pumpkin cheesecake drizzled caramel corn. Caramel corn glazed with classic pumpkin pie spices and topped with a creamy cheesecake drizzle. Two thirds cup, 30 grams is 130 calories. Now this is a resellable bag. The peanuts were not. Um, the this is. I wonder if people put those peanuts out in a candy dish. Candy dish is a thing still. I don't know. I think our age, people our age, we do, grew up with candy dishes. I still love candy dishes. It's part of my decor is to buy candy for the candy dish and have it sitting there looking pretty. I don't know that. Well, no, I, I, I was going to say, I don't know that young people do that. Our daughter does. Mm -hmm. You walk in her front door and Ashley's candy dish would put any of mine to shame. She, she has a, a well, she had didn't Ashley doesn't have a candy dish. Ashley has a bowl, a full, doesn't she? She, <laughs> she has a full on bowl. And unlike me, like I'll buy a package of like the Hershey's miniatures in like the fall foil um, colors. She has every kind of candy. Okay. So like if you want sour a patch sour patch, patch or a candy bar, she's got it all covered in there. The bad thing about these M and M's, chocolate or peanuts, um, they're um, they are not as colorful, and bright, so they they wouldn't look as good in a candy dish. I don't know if I like the. the I don't candy. think they would look good in a candy dish either. Yeah, kind of blunt. It would look like you bought an off-brand. Yeah, it. Yeah. Um, that popcorn's okay, but I don't like the spice in it. I don't either. It's a little too harsh. Mm-hmm. Well, I like the crunch. It has a nice coating of, uh, of the caramel. The crunch is good. It's a little hard, but it's, a little, it's got a good crunch to it. I love the mouthfeel of it. I love yeah. the, the I love the texture of it. I think it has a great texture. I always love a drizzled um, mm -hmm. corn because you get that different texture on top, that, that really thick icing. I love that. But I would not buy this again because they went too heavy on their seasonings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a nutmeg or a it it, it surprises me too. Something's really strong. Um uh yeah it surprises me because when we were checking out 
the uh, person who checked us out, she said she really loves this. Yeah, and, and some people would if you like that strong spice. Yes, she, she thought it was absolutely delicious. So that just goes to show you should try it yourself if you're curious about it. For, for both of us though, I yeah. think that, that, that uh, they put too much uh, nutmeg in it. Yeah, that's what they did. It's got a strong, almost a bitey kind of spice in there. Yeah, and you could get used to it. And of oh, course, yeah. you could I keep eating like five it. Or six of it. Oh, yeah, you could eat it, <laughs> eat it, and eat it. But would I buy it again? That's the thing, is it's good for a one time buy, but it's not something I would buy again and again. And that's usually when we're telling you, uh, giving our opinion, it's usually like, yeah, it's okay, but I wouldn't buy it again. Those cookies, I would totally buy those again. I'd buy the cookies again. I would never buy the milk chocolate. I would cookies. never <laughs> buy these. No, I would never buy these again because they, there's just, no. There's better. I'd much <laughs> rather have M&M's. I would buy the cookies. Cookies are good. Wouldn't buy this just because of that. No. The cookies remind me, you know, we always rave about the H-E-B brand. I thought that too. They remind I me that they're that a little bit harder mm -hmm. than the H-E-B ones, a little crunchier. I but, thought that uh, too. But the flavors remind you of something you would get at the H-E-B brand, which are always really good. Nice. H-E-B Twisters are really, really good cookies. Mm -hmm. And Kevin's right. They have the absolute perfect texture. They are softer than these. Um... But HEB, I think, is the like the number the best one. I think they are. They're mm -hmm. better. I think they're better than Oreo. They are. Well, so okay. yeah, if I had HEB, I'd be buying like when they came out with the seasonal cookies, I'd be buying them all the time. And my favorite of those, I forget what they're like apple. Yeah, which is similar. Yeah, yeah, they come out this time of year, um, I think, and they're just they're phenomenal. But these are good. If you don't have an H E B, these are yes. these are a good one to these, get. These yes, these fit the bill. So I will have a close up picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.